Uh, welcome, Lana, once I'm, uh, again to Lana's Coach. So we want to take a look at some of the best universities uh, here in Kenya that allows you to pursue a uh, course in data science, right? Now, as you know, as data science is a rapidly developing field that involves a lot of computational principles, methods, and systems for extracting and structuring knowledge from data. So the key thing here is data. So as you are aware, nowadays in this particular world, people are really uh, consuming or rather processing a lot of uh, data. So most organizations want to understand how they can make this particular data meaningful or maybe ensure that they can align themselves with the right products or services, right? And that requires the expertise of uh, people who can be able to analyze that particular data. So we require data analyst, uh, analysts, we require people who can be able to uh, do or extract, right, uh, some data when they are called upon to. So for us to be able to achieve that, we need to actually uh, pursue a course in data science. And that's why it's very important for us to understand uh, which kind of universities offer this particular uh, course. And maybe just to mention before we proceed, is that very few, right? So you need to look at accredited uh, universities that offer this particular course, not any other course, yeah? Because you might maybe miss out a chance of getting a job because you didn't pursue this particular course from a reputable or accredited uh, university. So to set us off, and maybe before we proceed, kindly take a second or two so that you become part of this particular community. So the first uh, university, we call it the Dawn, right, of East Africa, is the University of Nairobi. Uh, this is one of the universities that once you graduate, you don't have issues with employment or employers, right? Uh, you'll always be shortlisted and given priority, right? <laughs> uh, now, the first course that they offer is actually Bachelor of Science. No, not that they also offer Master's uh, on the same field, right? So you can see they have given an overview of this particular course, uh, the qualifications that are required, modes of delivery, right? So just visit their website here and check. You can see like admission requirements, for instance. Uh, so what should you have? Uh, you should be a holder of a KCSE with a minimum aggregate of C plus and of course a B minus <coughs> in mathematics, right? So here, <laughs> my friend, if you don't know how to play around with the uh, uh, figures or numbers, uh, then it's not uh, your course, right? So you need to be very good in maths. And other qualifications also, they offer diploma in computer studies, which actually can be used. Uh, then, of course, they can also look at other bachelor's degrees from other institutions. They have also indicated how you can uh, transfer your credits. So check, a, have a look at this. And of course, on the same breath, they also offer masters, a postgraduate on the same field. So that means uh, they actually I'll encourage you, if you want to do bachelor's, just to go straight to University of Nairobi so that once you graduate, you can always proceed uh, and do your masters from the same at the same institution. So here, as you can see, it'll just enhance your skills in research in the same given field, right? So here it's a face-to-face -face, yeah, uh, mode of um, teaching. Admission requirements, of course, you need to have a bachelor's of data science from University of Nairobi and any other qualifications that they might uh, recommend. And of course, we have careers, you'll be a data analyst, a data scientist, machine learning engineer, data visualization designer, and data journalist. So there are quite a number of career options that you can always uh, get into when you pursue this particular course. So that is University of Nairobi. And then we have JQuart, yeah, Jomo Kenyatta. As you can see, even the title, uh, they are launching, or they launched it, uh, just recently. So I think in the last three years it has been uh, being offered at the university. So from JQuart uh, you'll have data science and analytics, right? So you'll have to pursue Bachelor of Science in data science analytics uh, from their institution. I'm looking for the requirements. So qualifications here are same. You need to have C plus in your KCSE, C plane in maths, at 
least this one they have reduced the score right or any other degree or diploma that they'll recommend so jquat is another university that will really uh, advise that you visit and pursue this particular course right so that is jquat and then we have uh, one of the best private universities that is strathmore and i don't know why uh, this is always uh, a private university that offers uh, these marketable courses. So they offer Bachelor of Science in Statistics and Data Science, right? So the admission requirement here, you need to have a mean grade of B quite high, right? And a minimum grade of B plus in maths and B minus in English. So maths, maths, maths. If you're not good in maths, <laughs> don't even... Uh, look at this, all right? So visit their website, uh, and I like I like I like the combination statistics and data science. These are very nice combination. I don't know whether they have provided the course units, but you can check with them, and maybe you can start uh, doing this particular course from uh, Strathmore University. Now the other one is another private university. Uh, KCA. KCA is actually uh, one of the best un private universities that is actually picking up very well by introducing these new uh, courses. I really like that, right? When you talk about artificial intelligence, you'll find it here. When you talk about cyber security, you'll find it here. When you talk about data science, as you can see, right, you'll find it here. So KCA offers these latest kind of uh, technologies uh, that is very, very good. So, their Bachelor of Science in Data Science uh, degree is going to allow you to have skills appropriate to collect, process, analyze massive data sets, predict, and so on, right? So, you can be able to become big data analytics, a data programmer, you can become a data scientist, and so on. So, to qualify, you need to have a C plus in KCSE, right? or any other qualification. And you can see they have broken down their units per semester. So year one, you can see what you'll do. Under, uh, you'll do year two, the same, year three, and year four. So these are very nice uh, breakdown of the units that you're going to do uh, for the entire four years, right? So that is a case here for you. Uh, the other uh, university or other college uh, this is university and it's from USIU right so USIU also prides itself in offering Bachelor of Science in data science and, and analytics right so yes uh, it's a, another private university that I'll always recommend uh, you can always check their program right so you can see what you are going to learn from USIU you'll be able to develop analytical models right uh, deploy machine algorithms. Uh, there are admission requirements, C plus in your KCC and other requirements. Career options, data manager, a computer programmer, data engineer, right? So there are quite a number of career options that you're likely to get when you do their uh, program. That is Bachelor of Science in Data Science and Analytics. So just visit their websites and you check uh, what they offer in details, right? So that is another very nice course from USIU. Then we have a Cooperative University of Kenya. It also offers Bachelor of Science in <laughs> Data Science, right? Uh, maybe this is also a new entrant uh, course. Because I checked it two years ago, it was not there. Again, you need to be a holder of KCC, minimum of C plus, and of course C plus in maths and English or Kiswahili, right? They also consider NEC diploma in data science, right? Or their own diploma in data science. So you can check with them. You can see they offer uh, this particular uh, data science uh, related course. So that is Cooperative University right so you can check with them then we have moringa <clears throat> moringa is uh of course it offers it doesn't offer 
uh, these um, uh, degree courses, but I believe they offer very concrete uh, certificate courses in this in this field of data science, right? So you can see, I think uh, uh, twenty four weeks, yeah, is uh, yeah, like here you can see. You learn Python for data science, data analysis, visualization in 24 weeks. So ideally, what I normally advise my good students, or rather any other person who wants to uh, do this particular data science, it's important that you have some kind of hands-on uh, experience or other skills uh, from certificate level. Like for example, if you want to pursue a bachelor's in data science, right? So you can always start by looking at these uh, short courses, right? And one of them is this one that is offered uh, by Moringa, right? So you can just check with them, right? Uh, enroll for this short course, have some hands-on experience. Like you can see, you are going to be taught about uh, Python and also you are going to look at Power BI and all these, Stata and all these options of data analysis, right? So you can check with Moringa. I like the, the college, right? Uh, there's, there are very positive um, remarks from students who have taken this particular unit, uh, though you can see their fee is not a joke, right? Anyway, lastly, uh, to my good friends, uh, you can also check Alison. <laughs> Alison is a website that offers very free uh, courses, but they are very short, right? You can see, uh, you can ha spare one and a half hours to three hours of your time just to familiarize yourself with data science, right? So they'll take you through Python, R programming, assume machine learning, and the rest, so that at least when you are pursuing your bachelor's or other master's, uh, you have an understanding of how to handle basics of data analysis. So yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good people, if you are joining us for the first time and you find this particular information uh, useful, please don't forget uh, to subscribe. All right, thanks.